Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. It's time to have a look once again at the dev server, which has been updated. And this time, it's time to have a look at a new tank, which is coming in for Britain. This is the Vijayante, which is another Indian vehicle. And this one is specifically based off, as you can tell, the Vickers. Um, the Vijayante, which means the Victorious, was an MBT uh, which was built in India, which was based off the license design of the Vickers Mark I. Now, one thing to note is there's a bunch of different Vijayanta tanks, whether it be the Mark I, A, B, C, or II. So there is quite a lot of expansion that could come in for India, especially for the uh, British if they decide to stick them in the tree. Uh, the vehicle itself is rank 5, battery rating 7.7. .7. It has access to the 105mm L7A1, which has the stabilizer, which is super nice, and also the very good reload, which puts the Vickers um, in a different place compared to its competition. The reload is really the thing that sets it apart. It also has a ton of ammo in it, um, up to 44 rounds, if you want to bring all of those. The four-man crew, of course, with the driver, gunner, commander, and loader, and also a big booty uh, on this vehicle, which holds a 538 horsepower engine, uh, which means it can go at 48 kilometers an hour, and also backwards at 11 kilometers an hour. Remember, since this thing is not technically in the game right now, it's actually in the files, we don't have any of the modifications, but that's also because the vehicle isn't finished. You can see it is a premium though, 8200G at the moment, and also pretty chunky. Does have access to smoke grenades, also 250 cals, uh, one coaxial, uh, and then the other one, I have no idea where it is. Um, it's the, well, it's the L27, so it could actually be on the other side. Yeah, there you go. They're literally, well, you've got the 127 here, the L21, and then you also have the 7.62, and then also you have the top mounted, which is supposed to be a 12.7, but right now it's a good old uh, L21A1, which, uh, well, this is a model of a smaller gun, basically. So just understand, once again, when it comes to these vehicles, when they're not actually in the dev server and they're in the files, they usually have a few issues with them going forward. It also has this here, uh, this big old bonk on the front, so it isn't actually part of the uh, armor model, but you can see it there. The armor itself is a standard Vickers 80mm lower plate, 60mm upper, and then uh, not a ton of armor on the turret. So this uh, vehicle is not really going to be able to stop any rounds. Um, it's not really designed for that. The Vickers, at least the one, the ones that we have in War Thunder, mobile, good reloads, good damage. That is basically um, the setup for them. And also with the fact that you have the 105 with the stabilizer, you can usually get the first shot off. Um, when you go forward. Only having access to APDS right now, we'll have to see what that actually means going forward. One of the things that I would like to note about this vehicle is, you know, it obviously isn't finished and hopefully it gets some pretty cool camouflages. It does have access to the new crew voices, which is pretty cool. And also there's a 7.62 firing like a 12.7, um, <laughs> which is definitely interesting. Uh, the vehicle doesn't have access to uh, gunner NVDs, um, it doesn't have access to a commander sight, it does have a driver sight NVD though, just to kind of let you know uh, when it goes forward. The gun itself has not got the best targeting speed on it, um, but uh, it's uh, generally going to be good enough, especially when spaded out. It does have access to the APDS from the 105 and probably will get access to the Hesh as well. Doubt it'll get anything more powerful, uh, just because it's the L7. Uh, a1 and also because if you have a look at the other British vehicles none of them have anything better than the APDS. Now the APDS is completely fine it works well you know there's no issues with it at all it's a very good round and generally uh, I would say it has issues with its damage every so often uh, but as you as long as you shoot in specific areas you'll be able to donk on pretty much anything. Gone are the days where you penetrate certain vehicles and then you just randomly yellow a crew member and then do nothing else. Usually you do at least a little bit more damage nowadays with this one. Also at the same time, uh, there isn't a ton of ammo in this thing right now for some reason. 
only 10 rounds it can carry, but I'm sure it'll get more in the future. So yeah, look out for this thing, the VJ Anta, and also look out for more Indian vehicles coming in. It's a large market, there's a lot of Indian people in the world, and also remember, they really like mobile gaming. And you know what just came out? That's right, War Thunder Mobile. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Millie Draper, Juan the Panda, Nick R. Kupila, Carrion Crow, Gus Irenicus, Pyman, Merciless Reaper, Orange Tail, Teddy, Daniel Stanton, Moxie B. Young, Peter Grayling, Jerry Provolt, Bereen, Alan Hacker, Sem Arslan, Uncle Bean, Derek R., and Lafouche for supporting the channel.